Thank you, Angus. Um, our next speaker is Lance Tapley. He's a political and investigative columnist for the Free Press of Camden, Rockland. Uh, he recently published an article that you might have seen about the Senate candidates and the war with Iran. Thank you. I am an activist journalist, and uh, my role here today is to give you an, an activist report. I'm a reporter. Uh, and um, can you hear me all right? I may, I may need to be close, closer. Okay, I said I am an activist journalist. I'm going to give you an activist report that includes uh, being fast uh, in giving you this report because the material that I'm going to cover uh, is quite lengthy in the newspaper that I work for, the Free Press. If you go to Free Press online, you can read the whole thing. Um, and I was asked to be here because I'm, I understand that you folks this year, or Peace Action Maine, is emphasizing uh, electoral activism. This is, of course, an election year. So I've been asked to explain, and that's what my article does, how the, the Senate candidates feel, the U.S. Senate, Senate candidates feel about uh, war with uh, Iran. And I'm going to speak here a little bit, very quickly, in shorthand, um, and I may not get every nuance, but if, as, if you go to the website, you will see uh, what uh, the nuances, if there are some, if some candidates don't have really have many nuances, are. Um, and by the way, I see that Peace Action Maine has on its website that uh, people should um, uh, call their uh, senator, Senator uh, Collins and Senator uh, King, and try to get them to support Senator Kane's bill to limit uh, further the president's ability to wage war with Iran, um, that's Senate Joint Resolution 68. Uh, and um, I wouldn't bother to do that. And the reason is, is because both senators are co-sponsors of that bill. Uh, and uh, so you, I, I, I want to bring you a little bit more up to date on the situation. Um, and I also want to mention, just as a preface, that I didn't deal in my article, or here I won't deal with independents. Tiffany Bond is, is collecting signatures over there, and there are a bunch of other independents. I'm going to deal with them later uh, in, my, in my coverage of this Senate race. Um, they've got to collect 4,000 signatures. Uh, Tiffany may very well be able to do that, but I think some of the others may not. We, we will see. Uh, so I focused... Yeah, I, I focused on uh, Susan Collins and the Democratic uh, uh, candidates in the primary for the Democrats and the Green Independent candidate, uh, Lisa Savage, who is here today. Uh, the, the Democrats are Sarah Gideon. She's sort of the establishment, the well-funded, moderate uh, Democrat, uh, so-called. Betsy Sweet, a well-known uh, progressive candidate who ran for governor. Uh, Bree Kidman, uh, who is less well known but also quite progressive, and a new um, a candidate, uh, Ross Lajeunesse, uh, who is an ex Google executive. Uh, he is he is new. He is unknown. He doesn't come across to me as very progressive. Um, okay, these are the questions I asked and the answers I got, and I'm just going to, as I say, speak in shorthand. Uh, the big one is: Do you think it was a good thing? for President Trump to kill uh, General Soleimani. And uh, basically their answers were, Collins thought it was okay. Uh, Gideon, a uh, Democratic frontrunner, uh, answered directly but seemed to think that he deserved to die. La Jeunesse, uh, Soleimani deserved to die was the, the basic message, but uh, he was opposed to the re reckless ex escalation of military activities with, uh, with Iran. Uh, Betsy Sweet, uh, Bree Kidman, Lisa Savage, Lisa again, the Green, who's here, uh, it was not okay uh, to kill uh, this man. Uh, and um, the second question was, do you believe the president had the legal authority under U.S. or international law to do that? Um, uh, and uh, before I give you the answers, I might just point out that already it's been mentioned that this was an assassination. And not all news media are calling it that. I noticed yesterday the BBC was calling it an assass assassination. Now, you should be, understand that an assassination is a type of murder. I looked it up this morning uh, in Webster, murder by sudden or secret attack, often for political reasons. So it's very clear what happened. And I also think about, I want to point out, 
I, I, there were nine other people killed in this attack. We don't know who those people are, basically. They were aides, guards, perhaps. We don't know anything about them as human beings. But they were nine human beings who were killed by this, by this strike, which is generally said to only kill uh, General Soleimani. Um, Collins answered the question about legal authority. Uh, yes, he had the authority to protect Americans from attack. Gideon and La Jeunesse uh, didn't give a direct answer, but they, uh, they don't want to go further into war without co uh, congressional approval. Uh, sweet, Kidman, Savage, no legal authority. Third question, how would you answer the, the question asked by former Navy, Navy Secretary and U.S. Senator Jim Webb in a Washington Post opinion piece, when did it become acceptable to kill a top leader of a country we aren't even at war with? Uh, Collins, Gideon, Lajeunesse didn't answer the question. Uh, Kidman and Savage said it was unacceptable. Uh, Bessie Sweet said she regretted that it had become acceptable to too many people after 9-11. Uh, and then uh, for this next question, I didn't ask about the Cain Bill because, the, the, you know, the Cain Bill is, is pre accepted, as I mentioned, by, by Collins and King already. I asked about uh, the Bernie Sanders bill, which is uh, joint resolution, Senate Joint Resolution 3159. This is a stronger bill. It prohibits money being spent for unauthorized uh, military action. And so the question was, do you support uh, or oppose the, this, uh, this bill, which also uh, among others, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren is supporting, and it's called the No War Against Iran Act. Collins, Gideon uh, said in answer to whether they supported the Bernie Sanders bill uh, that they support the Cain bill. Lachanes didn't answer the question. Uh, Sweet, Kidman, and Savage, yes, they support the, the, the Bernie Warren bill, the No War Against Iran bill. Um, I uh, will skip over the next question, which is, do you support a, uh, a House bill that would also limit uh, Trump's action? Uh, uh, because the, the answers were very similar to the answers about the Senate. Uh, and then finally, I asked, what U.S. interests in the Mideast do you believe require U.S. military action or the U.S. military presence? Uh, Collins, our interests are preventing Iran aggression, fighting ISIS, and protecting shipping lanes, which I think means oil. Uh, Gideon and Lajeunesse didn't answer again. Uh, Kidman, they, they gave statements. They didn't answer the questions uh, point by point. They just gave rather uh, brief statements to me. Um, Kidman, uh, we should have a careful disengagement from the Middle East. Sweet, bring the military home. And Savage answered most uh, clearly and plainly, we don't have interests there. None was her answer. Um, so those are, those are the questions and the answers. And uh, I want to add just a little bit about recommendations uh, that I have for, for the peace movement in, in Maine, uh, uh, now that we know about the Cain, the Cain Bill. Uh, number one, you can see where Susan Collins is. So probably uh, I've already in my columns come out and said Susan Collins needs to be defeated. Uh, working to defeat Collins, uh, Collins is, is by far, I think, the top priority. Second, support uh, an anti-war candidate. And third, you could try to get Collins and, and uh, King to support the Sanders bill. I'm not sure how far along uh, you will get on that, but it, it might be worth it. And then uh, finally, you could get the legislature, possibly, to pass a bill expressing sentiment against the war. Uh, it would not have any legal effect, but you would definitely uh, get some publicity out of that. So those are some suggestions. And uh, I don't know if, if we're here to take questions or not, but uh, if somebody has any question, uh, perhaps right now, I, do, I, do I have any time for that? Uh, one question. One question? Any questions? Yes. 